Okay, here we have an old camera that was given to Anthony. Film camera from 72. 74. And a roll of Fuji film, which is getting harder and harder to find because, well, what's film? Or film? Film? What's flim, that? Flim. What's flim? The flim man. And where do you get it processed? Oh, London Drugs? Good luck with that one. Anyway, 20 bucks for a roll of film. Remember the good old days? You can get, get go into any any convenience store and get a roll of film for five bucks. Well, those days are gone. That's anyway. still not a bad price after all these years, actually. So anyway, we got this uh, old Canon. It was pretty dirty. So I cleaned up the lens at least. The inside is pretty good. Not too bad. So this is the unveiling. Oh, it's even got a barcode. QR code. VR code or whatever it's called. QR code. QR code. Hey, you, you gotta get your acronyms right. Hey man, I just I just awoke from a 20 year uh, slumber. <laughs> Well, what do you mean you can't buy film anymore? And he's got his Magnum digital. PI shirt what too. Digital camera. In the meantime, I'm just gonna pan across the lake. Okay, so film. Film canister for all you newbies who've never experienced film. Film canister keeps the film safe. Safe and relatively right from relative humidity. This is what they call film. That's film. This this shit here, right here. That's film. That's that's what records images, if you can believe it. All right. So you, with most cameras, with most most manual cameras, on the left. Okay, that's uh, the take-up spool, right? And there's a, a device to unlatch un, uh, the, the back. You pull that up, and then the camera comes, camera back comes open, all right? So now you put your film in like that. Make sure the sprockets line up. Yeah, okay. And then you take the film out. And you tuck it in one of these little grooves here. Make sure the, uh, make sure it's latched. There's a little sprocket there that'll hold on to the perforations right there. So once, once, once the film is like that, it's ready to close the camera and then you wind it a couple of times. Until you get to zero on the counter. Now this is the 36 exposure uh, film. So we got 36 pictures. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 36 individual pictures. There's no, not gonna be any bracketing, nothing. It's just gonna be 36 pictures and that's it. So here we go, first picture. I'm gonna set the camera to the Sunny 16 rule, which is F16 over one, one over the uh, shutter or the ASA, ISO of the film. So in this case, it's a 400 speed film. film. So you sh you're looking for around one 400th of a second. In this case, it's one five hundredth of a second is closest. F16 by opening up to F11 and a half. And I'm going to leave it there. Sunny 16 rule. If it's anything other than sunny, then you have to use a different, a different formulation. But basically, if it's sunny out, it's one, one over the film speed, one four hundredth in this case. Mm -hmm. Okay, at F16.
Okay. Gonna make this good. It's only one shot. All right, that's the first one in the can. It's time to move on. <laughs> 